Finish the sentence for me. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat them, the more you... I know you know. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow a whole food, plant-based, no oil, gluten-free way of eating. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and check out all the links below for the resources that I offer. I have an e-guide, I have a newsletter, I have an online course, and I have a Facebook group if you feel like you need a little bit more support on this way of eating. So today is going to be another what I ate in a day video, but today I'm going to be focusing on the mighty bean. Beans are so good for you, so full of fiber. And why is fiber good for you, you might ask? Well. Fiber is the thing that's going to help you feel full and create that bulk in your stomach so you feel full and that way you'll eat less. That's why I love to put tons of veggies in all my dishes. Fiber is also wonderful for your gut, for your gut microbiome. And if you've got a happy gut, then you're going to be happy. And that's where most of our immune system lives, is in our gut. So you want a nice healthy gut for that reason. Now losing weight is all well and good, but you want to be healthy. That is the main goal. You want to be healthy so you have a good quality of life. I know people that are thin, they're not overweight, but they're not healthy. They don't exercise, they don't eat right. So nothing good is happening on the inside. It's very important you get that health component down and have that on the forefront of your mind. There's a saying, I don't know who said it, but it says, when you focus on your health, you lose weight. When you focus on losing weight, you lose your health. And it's very, very true. There's all kinds of ways that you can lose weight. You know, you can starve yourself. You can uh, restrict calories to an unhealthy amount. You can try and go on keto or paleo. And all these things are not sustainable. This whole food, plant-based, no oil way of eating is sustainable. So about today's recipes. So for breakfast, I'm going to be using the mung bean. And I'm going to be making a just egg copycat. Um, but I'm going to put it in some hash brown little nests in muffin cups and those are really delicious. They're great for a brunch or a Sunday breakfast. And then lunch is going to be tempeh, which is soybeans. And I'm going to have some tempeh and some rice and some broccoli and it's all going to be leftovers, which is my favorite kind of meal. And then for dinner, I'm going to be making a white bean soup. And of course, you know there's going to be a whole ton of kale in there, another great source of fiber. So let's get started. All right, to make these little hash brown egg nest things, I've got uh, four cups of defrosted frozen hash browns. If you don't have frozen hash browns in your area, just grate up some pre-cooked potatoes that have been refrigerated and it will do the exact same thing. I'm just going to season with a little garlic salt, onion powder, and you guessed it, smoked paprika. Give it a quick mix. Then you just want to grab some. And you're just going to put them in the little muffin cup here. And you want it to come up to the sides so it makes like a little cup, a little nest. You want to really squish them down there. All right, I'm gonna work on these and then we'll do the next step. So this is how you want them to look. And this is a silicone pan. If you don't have a silicone pan and you might wanna just do a very light spray of cooking spray, um, but I prefer this so I don't have to use any oil. All right, so we're gonna put these in a 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes till they get a little crispy. And then we'll be ready to put the egg in there. So I want to saute some veggies to put in with the egg. So I've just got some mushroom, bell peppers, and onion. We're just going to let this go for a couple minutes. Then I'm going to add some spinach to it. So you want to let your mixture here, your vegetable mixture, cool down a little bit before you put the egg in. And I'm going to just be pouring my mung bean egg mixture here. I'll leave the link to this recipe 
in the description box. I've already done a video on it, but I'll have a link to that video. And I actually just used half the recipe. And I'm only using about three-fourths of this container. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to push these down a little bit. And you can see they started to get a little golden, but they're going to cook more after I put the egg in. All right. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon in here. And anything I don't use of this mixture, I'll just make scrambled eggs out of it or an omelet or something. So it's not going to go to waste. And I'm making a mess as usual. All right, I'm going to pop these back in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, cherry tomatoes here. I've had some that were about ready to go bad, so I'm just going to add like three to each one. They'll kind of wilt down. They'll be real good. All right, back in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now look how pretty these came out. Oh, every once in a while I like to get a little fancy, so this is my little fancy here. So um, once they've sat, when you take them out of the oven, let them sit for about five minutes, then take them out and put them on a cooling rack. Otherwise the bottom's gonna get soggy and you don't want that. And look at how cute they are. So you're getting your potatoes, your starch, and your veggies all in one. And we're using the mung beans. So you get a nice little bit of protein in here as well. So this is a really great little breakfast snack. I'm gonna take a couple of these to work with me tomorrow. Let me give it a quick taste for you. Those of you who don't like to watch people eat, fast forward. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the inside of that, but it's got such great flavor. Fun little bite-sized snack. So I will see you again at lunch where I'm going to be very simple because when I do something a little fancier for breakfast, I'm going to do simple for lunch and dinner. So I'll see you then. So lunch today is just going to be leftovers. And this is my favorite kind of meal because I really don't have to do anything. So I had steamed some broccoli yesterday. So I'm gonna put some broccoli on my plate. Quite a bit of broccoli. And then I just have some marinated tempeh, which is made from soybeans. So this is my second bean of the day. And I just cut it up in little squares here, little cubes. I marinated it in this Japanese barbecue sauce, which I've been obsessed with. But you can marinate it in coconut aminos, um, liquid aminos, whatever you want um, will work. And I just let it go overnight and um, I just threw it in the air fryer and that was yesterday and now I've got some leftovers so I'm just gonna have that in my lunch. So. And then of course I always have rice in my refrigerator, so I'm just going to finish this up with some rice. And where this is all going to go in the microwave. So let me go heat this up. Then I just topped it with some more of the Japanese barbecue sauce. And that's it. I'll see you at dinner where I use one more bean. All right, I'm gonna start my soup the way I start all my soups, and that's with onion, celery, and carrot, which I've chopped really small in my vegetable chopper. I've got a little bit of water in there because we're not cooking with oil. Now we're gonna let this cook for about five, six minutes till these get soft, and then we'll add the other ingredients. Now we're gonna add about three cloves of garlic. And then for spices, I have Italian seasoning, oregano, salt, crushed red pepper flakes, which you can leave out. 
We'll just let this cook for a minute. I also finally chopped up a Yukon Gold potato, a smaller one. I'm going to add about two and a half cups of broth. And I may add more water, we'll see. Then I'm going to add in two cans of white beans, rinsed and drained. These were the low sodium. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more water, maybe a half a cup. I think that's better. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and let it simmer. But I'm also going to throw in a sprig of rosemary. They had this at the store and it just looks so pretty to me. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'll remove it before serving, of course. So I'm going to just bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for 15 minutes. Oh, and if you don't have fresh rosemary, then you could use, um, you know, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary or a quarter teaspoon. That would be just fine. All right, and then we're going to blend half of the soup to make it nice and thick. And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of kale. All right, so now I'm going to blend half of this to make it nice and creamy. And we'll add that back in. I think I'm going to do just a little bit more. Ooh, I like the way that looks much better. Now I'm going to add my finely chopped kale. This is five ounces of baby kale. I mean, this is going to wilt down to nothing. You can already see how much it's reducing down. All right, and the heat's off, and we're just going to let it sit here for a few minutes, and then we'll serve it up. All right, soup is done, looks beautiful. Let's give it a taste. I just love just blending half of it because you've got the nice chunks of the bean, the potato, the carrots, the celery, all that. Gives it some different textures. Mmm. Just a teeny bit of heat from those red pepper flakes, which I really like. It's a good little contrast. So those are the three beans that I use today for my meals. And remember that fiber is something that's going to help you not only lose weight, but it's going to help you get healthy. It will really be healthy for your gut microbiome, which is where most of our immune system lives. When your gut's healthy and happy, then you're healthy and happy. You know, eating a high fiber diet is great for your digestive system, of course. Um, it helps you from becoming constipated. It's one of the things that gives you bulk in your diet and fills you up. So it's really important that you add beans, you get some protein, and a bean or legume does have protein, but it's also starchy. So just keep that in mind. I like to mix those, maybe have a little bit of rice and beans and then a ton of greens. No matter how you incorporate it, it's gonna help you. Be sure to check out all the links below. The full recipes will be down there. Check out all the resources I offer and follow me on Instagram. Join my Facebook group, check out my online course, lots of things down there for you. I have an e-guide, and remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you.